in the world of business and individual entrepreneurs who are independent contractors. People need other services and other business people to help their companies and their individual bank accounts to grow. The challenge is that a lot of people want that help, so they go to networking events, they go to organized events, and they go to learn, but they don't really want to pay for what they're gaining. That's sort of abomination to the Lord because the Lord has gifted that person, not their social skills or their business networks, but the Lord has given them their knowledge without, well, their consent. It's sort of a funny concept that people want to get things without paying for it. It is true there are things we can earn without paying for it, but when someone starts to begrudge us for what they've given to us, it's really quite the sin. You see, you don't have the right to begrudge things you gave freely and willingly. And when someone gives you content freely and willingly, you're valuing it and using it, but you're not paying for it. In the realm of privacy, we have lots of things that we keep private. We keep our financial income private, usually on our tax forms. We keep those forms private. We keep our banking records private and out of the eyes of peeping toms in a maintenance group. We literally want people not to know how much money we have in our bank accounts. We also have other things like medical records and marriage records and child records and car records and what they cost, what the car actually cost, that are considered private. And yet I can go back to my experiences in an apartment that I chose after I left my favorite townhouse where I lived for a really long time and love my life there in a marvelous little arts and design district and I can go to that impoverished community apartment complex and recall that somebody was monkeying with the records to my car and that somebody had gotten illegally and immorally into my car and left a sticky note in a girly hand that said how much I just had at hand around 10 grand in my bank account and I never gave anyone the right to enter my apartment or look at my bank records or get into my vehicle but here's something I know, that ill-willed, illegal people will walk into a house, make copies of someone's keys, and drive around in their car at night, wasting their gas. Using their gas and their car to do whatever they like. Someone somewhere has the license plate to my car. My license plate is very specifically for the one that I love. And I don't have to tell people that because I'm not trying to sell people on that. But even a personalized license plate is a private thing by far.